he's all ready. He's all had your showers and your baths and you're closing all down with your mum and dad. Or your mum and mum or your dad and dad, whatever. Scratch, 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 scratch. Stop scratching, please, said mum, as we're eating dinner. Mum scratched her head. Stop scratching, please, said dad. We're eating our dinner. Henry scratched his head. Stop scratching, Henry, said mum and dad together. Uh-oh, said mum. She put down her fork and she frowned at Henry. Henry, do you have nits again? No, of course not. Come over here to the sink, said mum. Why, said Henry. I need to check your head. Henry dragged his feet, scuffled and scuffled, over to the sink as slowly as he possibly could. It's not fair, he thought to himself. It wasn't his fault that Nitz really loved Henry's head. They probably held knit parties there on his head, come from foreign places for their holidays. <sighs> Mum dragged the knit comb across Henry's head. I'll do that here. Have you got any nits, Roy? No. She made a face, as only mummies do, and groaned. Oh, you're crawling with nits, Henry, said Mum. Oh, let's see, said Henry. He always liked counting how many nits that he had on his head at the one time. One, two, three, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven. It's not polite to count nits, said his younger brother. Perfect Peter, wiping his mouth with his spotless napkin. Is it, Mum? Dad then dragged the knit comb across his head and made a face. Ugh, said Dad. Mum then dragged the knit comb across her hair. Ah, said Mum. Mum combed perfect Peter's hair. Then she did it again. Then she did it again. And then for the last time she did it again. No nits, Peter said Mum, smiling. As usual, well done, darling. Perfect Peter smiled modestly. It's because I wash and comb my hair every single day, said Peter. Henry scowled like that. Big skill. His hair was filthy. Nits love clean hair, said Henry. No, they don't, said Peter. I have never, ever had them. Well, we'll see about that, said Henry to himself. When no one was looking, Henry picked up a few nits off the paper towel that was on his lap. He wandered over to Peter, casually fingered a lock of his hair, like so. Leap and scratch and scratch and leap. Mum, said Peter, Henry's pulling my hair. Stop it, Henry, said Dad. I wasn't pulling his hair, said Henry. I just wanted to see how clean it was. And it's so lovely and clean, said Henry, sweetly. Oh, he's very naughty, is that Henry? Sure he is, very, very naughty. I wish my hair was so clean as Peter's. Peter beamed with a big smile. It wasn't often that Henry said anything nice to his brother at all. Right, said Mum. Everyone upstairs. It's shampoo time. No, said Henry. No shampoo. Keep the shampoo away. He hated the stinky, smelly, horrible shampoo much more than he hated having nits. Only today his teacher, Miss Battleaxe, had sent home a nit letter. Beware, nits, 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 nits. Nits have been seen at school, said the letter. 
get rid of them. Wash your hair with supersonic net shampoo, please. Or else. Naturally, Henry had crumpled a letter when given it at school and he'd thrown it away. He was never, ever, ever going to have Pongy net shampoo on his head again. What rotten luck that mum has spotted him scratching his head. It's the only way to get rid of nits, said Dad, as he's pulling him along with Mum into the bathroom, to the sink. But it never works, screamed Henry. And he ran for the door. Mum and Dad grabbed him again. Then they dragged him, kicking and screaming, into the bathroom. Nits are living creatures, said Henry. Why kill them? Because, said Mum. Because, because, because. They are blood-sucking nits, said Dad. Blood-sucking? Henry had never thought of that. In the split second that he stood still to consider the interesting information, Mum had emptied a bottle of supersonic nit shampoo on top of his head. No! Screamed Henry frantically, then shook his head. da 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 there was shampoo on the floor, there was shampoo on the door, there was shampoo all over his mum and dad. The only place there was no shampoo was on Henry's head. 